Hello everybody and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin and today I have a special plan, not really special. Uh, we're going to be building the librarian's house because, well, we need a librarian for the library that we just built. And speaking of all of this, let me go grab this stuff and throw it in my super smelter real quick. But before we get started, I need, oh, hey, look, my tree grew. Before we get started, I need to go make a quick trip all the way down to the Badlands biome. There is one past the jungle. Uh, so let's get started. If you didn't catch last episode, we just filled out a four by four map, honestly. It wasn't really anything too crazy, but honestly, it was pretty fun. Um, good times, you know? I had to change the thumbnail because, uh, well, the original one just wasn't that good. And it was actually showing. So, yeah, that's what happened last episode. Nothing too crazy. And, yeah, we just kind of cleaned up the storage a little bit. Before we get into the video today, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday with streams and videos randomly throughout the week. I think today we're going to put the uh, librarian's house right around here. You know, it's going to be the next in our uh, townhouse series. I was corrected last time uh, that I didn't know um, was an actual thing with townhouses, but the roof was the wrong way because the drainage is apparently supposed to go like that in real life. But, you know, luckily Minecraft doesn't have water fit as, eh, physics or damage. But so this time we're going to do the roof the right way with some little, you know, dormers and whatnot i guess i should wait till day actually no i'll travel on the water at night all right there is my is that it this might be the smallest badlands biome i've ever seen <laughs> look at this i don't even know if well i'm gonna have enough clay but or terracotta or whatever it is but I, yeah, this is, this is the entire biome. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, is there any more? Nope. Nope. That, that, wow. Okay. That's the whole biome. I came here hoping to get a lot of terracotta. <laughs> that rhymed. Uh, but would you look at that? I don't think I'm going to be getting that much. I guess I can stain it. What is this? This is white, right? Yeah. I guess I can dye it. But, wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to collect this and then head back home. Well, I guess you're not going to see that. <laughs> this gold in the smallest biome. Uh, I guess the smallest Badlands biome, if you will. Actually, hold on. Is this still a Badlands biome? This might be the highest generating gold in a normal biome. Okay, let's see. Where's the biome? Biome Minecraft Badlands. Badlands. Okay, so it's still in the Badlands, but look at that gold. <laughs> I think I just might leave that there. Honestly, it's like a souvenir. It'd be something people can come and find. Okay, see, this makes a lot more sense. I was like, there's no way that's the only Badlands. There's, it, it's just like a split biome. So it goes jungle and then there's the little tail end of it. But then here's like an actual full Badlands biome. Is it full? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was like, there's no way that's the case. What is this? This is, this is white, right? Yep. Okay. That's good. That's good to know <laughs> for future stuff. I've got plenty of everything, but... I was just like, there's no way that this is the only section of Badlands. And I was coming back and looking around and I was like, well, you know, oh, does this touch up to the ocean? Because if so, then I can just like directly get out of here. Directly like tie up with, you know, like directly come. Whoa. Wow. Okay. This does touch. Dang. This does touch the ocean. Good. That's good to know because now I can just go further south and be right here. I don't have to go inland and then walk across an entire desert. Sweet. Well, I'll see you all back at Riverton. This is not the focus of today's episode, but now we do have this in our resource. Uh, 
pool, I guess. Um, which we will be able to utilize. Next episode, I do need to start killing more Endermen. Uh, mainly because, you know, I think I should start working on finding the end. So, that'll be, that'll be a fun episode. You know, the dome still hasn't been taken care of, but uh, we'll figure that out. <laughs> it doesn't look bad it's i don't know i just need i'm not doing like a proportion right or something there we go now we're back one little side note i wanted to add uh here i've been kind of turning this into a quote-unquote pub where you know i store my potions and stuff um originally i wanted to have the cleric in the church but honestly it kind of makes sense for a guy who makes potions to be perusing about in the basements of the townhouses. <laughs> I hope I use that word right. <laughs> okay, now looking at it, I actually didn't get that much white terracotta, but I did get a good amount of just plain terracotta, which I can convert into white terracotta, thankfully. I don't know why. Well, I just didn't look. I was going to say, I don't know why I have such a small amount of white terracotta but it's because i didn't look and i was just like hey this is the only option oh boy uh let's see i think yeah i've got a, a thingamabob here look at how all these things are changing it's cool i'm not surprised that these are fully oxidized that is gonna look cool when it's fully oxidized it would also look cool oh cool look at this and i got scaffolding it would also look cool if you know i made it normal like honeycomb the wax but i need a bee farm which i said this episode would be uh you know <laughs> i said this episode would be working on a bee farm oh look at that oh nice <laughs> uh let me just okay i'm gonna go throw this uh back in the chest and we can get started on today's building and look i brought my whole workstation with me and scaffolding so let's get to framing Oh, are we going to get a baby on camera? Ah, poo. You guys are boring. All right. Now, here we are. We've got this plant. Oh, God, let me check something. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. I was like, what? Um, But here we are. We've got this section. Now, this is going to be a little ow, bit of a different, I guess, build because this lower part is going to be taller. And, you know, the houses keep crawling up. But that doesn't stop me. The only thing that's going to stop me is kind of, you know, jumping down here and trying to make sure that I've got, oops, sorry, I've got the right amount of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get this basement framed and kind of get some dimensions and then we'll start building up. All right. That was pretty quick. This is going to be, hmm, actually, uh, well, I was thinking you know, it's a librarian, so librarians are going to be smart. But, no, I was going to say, it could be, we could have, like, a villager. You could have him be rich um, and make this a really big townhouse, but, eh, it's just a librarian. I don't pay him that much. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but it does kind of match over here. Actually, no, I'll, I'll keep it like this. Don't want to get too complicated. I'm also going to have to start, you know, kind of working up through here. I haven't. I was like, okay, well, I'll just fill out this section before I start going over here. But we're getting to that point where it almost is filled out. Uh, let's see. Now, I want to figure out where I want to do some outcroppings. I think that since this one is on this side, I want one on this side. So I'm going to have to make some stairs and stuff like that. But let's get the main like structure of the house up. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. So I've gone ahead and decided that I should put a little outcropping up here because, I mean, well, you know, <laughs> uh, it makes sense. The stairs go up there and this way I can get a little bit extra space. So if I come up here, you know, I can always give me that. Actually, I need that. Why did I only get 13? Okay. <laughs> I can always have this laid out like this because look how much space you get now uh make this that thank you and then yep 
And then this one I'll do where it's, you know, one, two, three. So stare, and then, what is this? One, wait, stare, one, two, stare, top. Yep. I think that shouldn't be, or I think that should be good. And then maybe I can even do a balcony on this side. I don't know. I kind of, um, 50 50. I want to keep it, you know. I want to keep it simple, but also, you know, I just want to kind of go, kind of want to go crazy with this. There we go. Go. And I think for the bottom layer, I'm not sure what I want to do. Maybe like a mixture of cobblestone andesite and, ow, uh, <laughs> cobblestone andesite, what else? No, stone brick, uh, stone, clean stone, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. It doesn't have to be, you know, perfect yet, but I don't know, we should, we should figure something out. Um, let's see, can I just like place you down like this? Okay. Gotta take the fall damage. All right. So, oh, I forgot the stairs right here. Silly me. Come here. <laughs> uh, there you are. There we go. Let's see, I definitely want this top layer to be white concrete if you couldn't tell <laughs> uh, hmm. but what would go good with the bottom layer i could do it like this one where it's all the same but i kind of want to mix things up and i guess this one yeah oh maybe i can have the door on this side yeah i'll put the front door right there uh huh. I don't know. I'll I'll take a look at what I have and see what we can come up with. Okay. Now to add more depth, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I'm gonna try something. Ah. How does that look? And then if you put ah. Eh, I don't know. Cause it's a good way to have some depth, but then I'd have to do all of these like this at the bottom, which I don't know. Is, is that, is, would that be a bad thing? Uh, and yeah, I'm not really feeling that. Okay. Well, you never know if you don't try. So at least we know that. Maybe I'll just do a simple, hmm. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I just thought of something. What if I do strip spruce to kind of match with the library on this lower section? Huh? Huh? Or maybe strip dark oak. But I don't have much of that. So let's try strip spruce. Also, I'm just going to go ahead and put in the firewall real quick because I have the stone bricks at the moment and well yeah there's no there's no other point <laughs> I think this would be a good way to use my resources efficiently and the building process efficiently because I already have the thing framed I think next I'll have to I, I, I'm working on the pallet right now yes but also I'll have to what was that noise <laughs> I'll also have to you know do the roof but the roof's pretty easy i don't think there'll be any issues with that but i'll figure it out all right now let's see how this looks oh yeah that looks better having a nice darker color almost like a mocha tone and i think this will look good alongside the white terracotta I like the white terracotta because it has that like kind of that kind of pinkish vibe to it, a little little pinkish hue. So let's see how those two look together. I'm pretty sure I've combined these uh, in another 
area. I think that should be good. Okay. Now the question is, how am I gonna divide, you know, these rooms off? But I don't know if that'll be an issue. Let's see. Okay. Moment of truth for up here. And you know what? This time I am gonna keep this one just completely frat frat? Flat on the front. I don't see why there's any reason I need or need to. Let's see. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Okay, cool. Now let's check this out. Yeah, that that looks okay. It's a little one dimensional on the front, not gonna lie, but you know, we have so many two dimension three dimensional i don't know uh that looks okay i can always change out those um sections down at the bottom maybe maybe just spruce or not even spruce maybe just oak wood might work let me check let me try that all right let's see how that looks mm, okay that that honestly that kind of looks a lot better you know it's a little darker than the birch not too dark give me that Okay, yeah, we'll go with the oak then. Well, that well, I didn't really waste the strip spruce logs, you know. <laughs> but I do kind of like the way that looks. It looks it looks like it fits. And then this one on the oh my god, we can have Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> this one on the bottom, uh, I don't know, another storage section maybe. I don't know, maybe on uh, yeah. Oh, maybe I can put the. Strip spruce to use. <laughs> that was a funny rhyme. Uh, maybe I can put the strip spruce to use down here. And yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's kind of like a little bit darker, older wood. Okay, I like that. I like that. Let's run with this. All right, so here's what we're working with. I switched out all of this, you know, kind of added this. I don't really care about, you know, things like this. It kind of looks weird. Uh, it looks weird, you know, from a builder's perspective, but luckily I'm not going to be spending much time in here. So for villager, this is A-OK. -okay. I don't think I'm going to divide this little section off and anymore just because we have this big wall. But things are kind of looking good. I put this on and I think now it's, yeah, on to roofing. Uh, cool. Kind of looks like the Simpsons house a little. Maybe. Uh, down here. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. Give me all those. I can go down and fill these little sections out. They're not going to be anything too crazy, but, you know. Uh, I can also put torches down here so monsters don't spawn on me. <laughs> and then, you know, we're doing pretty good. I think all I need to do now is I should make a lectern, but those aren't that hard to make. So maybe I'll make two. Let's see, I just need leather. Right? Leather. Uh, yeah. And then I could use stone bricks for the windows out here. I'm going to have to use scaffolding for this part down here because I, I can't reach that. I could reach these, but not those. Uh, yeah, things are looking pretty good. I don't know what I'm going to put here. Maybe we can uh, put another access down right here in between. Cause I kind of want to keep, I don't know if I, what I want to put here. I don't know if I want to keep this like open and get rid of this and you know that, uh, we'll, we'll have to figure that out, but let's, let's move one at a time here. <laughs> let's not get too ahead of ourselves, but yeah, I think now we can start on the roof and then we'll put in the final touches with everything. Now for this roof, I'm honestly thinking, uh, slabs. I know it's kind of different to what I usually do, but hey, why not? Uh, let's see. Should I go? Oh, yeah, I can do this because it won't have any repercussions later when I build. And then I can also come here. Nope. Ah, come on. What are you doing? Hey, you're a new villager. Are you? Yeah, you are. 
You don't have a profession yet. You might be my librarian, buddy. There we go. That should be good. But now I gotta go over here. Yeah, that's good. There we go. And let's get up to the roof. Now the question is, what am I gonna do for this section? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do something like this. Cause I, hmm. Cause I want, uh, I want to have, okay, let's start with this side because this side is predictable. It's easy. And then here. All right, and then slabs. I did put slabs up. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, wait, did I put slabs right there? And then blocks. Slab. Sorry. <laughs> Block. Slab. And yes, I know these all come to a these all come to a singular point and these come to a double, but that's okay. Because I want them to look I want it to look like it's varied because you know it's kind of how it is in real life um well, the question is i think i'm gonna do you know like the the normal thing of slab okay and then once i get to here then i'll do block slab block there you go Yeah, something like this. Shouldn't be too crazy. Ah, perfect. And you just, boop, boop. And yeah, I can, honestly. Ah, poo, come here. Oh, cool. Ah, no, I don't want this roof to be as aggressive as I usually build them. There we go. But, can you, can you don't? Oh, yeah, that's easy. Boom. Actually, let me go grab one more piece of little piece of little. Let me go <laughs> grab one more piece of white terracotta. And that should fix it up. Let's see. How are you looking? You know, that's okay. Yeah, it's 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 different. But I like it. I'm glad we have it. And again, we can always change all this stuff if it doesn't look good. But I am not down here too often scrutinizing the water line of riverton i mean having these buildings right here it's that's that honestly that's enough <laughs> and then we throw you up here thank you good sir Boop. look at that yeah something just a little you know break up from the usual steep roof and then we can go Boop. and now I can go get us our glass and our stairs and then we can finish this thing up. Uh, uh yeah, I guess that's a little, it's a little weird on one side, but it hey, will fix it. You know what? Oh yeah. No, nah, I should probably fix it right now or else I will forget. There we go. Get up here. Thank you. Uh, there we go <laughs> and that should do it for the roof yeah that doesn't look too weird I'll put a house here or something that will cover it up and then that I, I think that will be the corner one because like I said maybe I'll, I'll, I might do a little park right here you know something that wraps around down there and then a park up here you never know green space is important in a city all right got the glass and I've got the stairs which is pretty much all I need I wish oh dang it I should have gone 
inside for that one, but that's okay. It doesn't take too much. I think this one will be a corner uh, house, like right there. Let's see, four? Yeah, four townhouses. That's good enough for me, at least. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. This is what I like about having the larger ones, is you can just stand in them and do the windows. The smaller ones are harder on a higher level, so that's mainly why I do um, these houses like this. But other than that, it's about... Uh, oh. <laughs> Forgot about this part. Whoopsies. It's okay. There we go. There we go. And there's that. A nice little door. Cool. I know here I'm going to have to have like some sort of light source. But for now, I'll just put one of these. Yeah. Just so it's, you know, nice, nice and lit. <laughs> there we go and let's fill this in and then we can start with the decoration um there we are perfect thank you all right that's good Got the def uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> got the decoration done. Uh, well, not the decoration. We gotta get the decoration now. But that's just going to be like bookshelves, a bed. Speaking of which, I can get the bed from. This blue bed is my adventure bed. Okay, no one gets the blue bed. <laughs> I know that villager was using it, but he needs to be sleeping in a house. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna add. Uh, what's it called? A dock going right through here. I don't... 50-50 mm, on it. But, let's see. Grab a bed. Uh. Alright, the librarian's getting a yellow bed. Yeah, see, that doesn't look too bad. Hold on. Yeah. Look at that. I like that. I'm gonna have to... Get some more stone slabs down here. I know I should probably like break up the texture a little bit, but for now, eh. I'm gonna down here and let's be real. Like in real life, what's gonna happen here is I'm just gonna put like various methods of storage <laughs> for, you know, storing items, especially items that I get from, you know, boat adventures and stuff like that. So, like, I think that's where I'll store, like, prismarine stuff in the future. And let me take these so I can get my bookshelves on. All right. So, I made two lecterns. A, because we need one in here. Um, where I'll put that? I don't know. Maybe right here? No. Okay, good. That drops. Right here. Yeah. And then, wow, I have a lot of crafting tables. Yep, I can put that there so the librarian can come in here, you know, do his thing. <laughs> I hope he di I hope he uh, discovers it. Oh, look at that. He can walk right across the street to work. And then in here, we can just have bookshelves. Like that. And then, yeah. And then up here, uh, we don't need anything. <laughs> there you go, buddy. There's your bed. <laughs> and I also made a second lectern because, you know, I need it. So hopefully we can, uh, well, I'll leave a crafting table in here. <laughs> hopefully we can um, get a villager to come in here and be a librarian. I don't know. The second lectern is for my uh, personal room you know this that gap that i have uh it's well it's for a lectern so i can put some of my books down maybe i'll do a journal maybe i won't i don't know all right up here i'll show you what i mean the red carpet's quite nice too. yep right in here lectern will go there and Due north, let's. I can just put a book right there. Yeah, look at that. This is 
it's like a little area where I do my studies. Now, when I add like bees and stuff, we can oh. kind of have like a a candle, you know, study by candlelight. <laughs> Something like that. But that should be good for now. You know, we've come in here. We got a nice little thingamabob uh, <laughs> for the librarian. We've got a bed. So hopefully the village recognizes that new bed. I mean, if they were recognizing this bed over here, they're sure to recognize uh, that bed over there. I might have to add some more village centers. I'm not sure though, because Greg, what do you think? Greg, Greg. Okay, where are you going? Who are you? Oh, you're a mason. Okay. Gonna have to trade with you a good bit. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. Yeah, I might have to add some more bells because maybe I'll add one right here because it, this is a big village and I think all of the beds in the village have to be within 50 blocks of the bell and this might be a little past 50 blocks at this point. Down here, don't know what I'm going to do, but I know what I can do is get a nice little thumbnail picture for this librarian's house i know it doesn't really look much different from the others but you know these kind of look coastal so hey at least if this place floods i'm safe down here oh i also forgot the little spruce stuff down here oh well i also want to do uh what is it check over here because i think that why do i say think like that I, I well i'm just curious to see if my little cactus farm in air quotes has been working i don't know if oh, what the what the what oh yeah i mean it's been working somewhat it's obviously nothing huge but i don't know maybe once i run out of space down here i might have to jump the river you know have buildings on both sides that would be kind of cool honestly but for now, we don't have to worry about any of that. So for now, I think we're good with that. Next episode, I'm going to go... Well, I'm going to research a little bit how to get the most Endermen, you know, we can. Where the most... what What's effective to get Endermen because, well, I'll need it because I want to start looking for the end portal. I think that's a, that's a good goal. And I should really put a door on here, but I'm never up in here. Um... So next episode, we'll be doing that, taking a break from building, and hopefully we'll get some Eyes of Ender. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it blends in, but it's going to get phased out by all the new buildings, by the library and everything, but we're getting closer to having a full city. I remember when it was just that little house on the hill and the tree farm, you know, this whole area. It used to be like, oh, now I got to walk all the way down to the water and everything, but, you know, this... Uh-oh. <laughs> this little area has been getting... um, What's it called? It, it, it's sm getting smaller and smaller. The world... Our little world here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and... Ah, I'm going to go ahead and check the runtime. See how we're doing. And I'll record accordingly. Alright, so we've got about like... Mm, five, six, seven minutes left or so. I don't know. I figured we could just do some farming. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that sounds good to me. There we go. Boop, boop. Uh, gotta get the fortune. Okay, never mind. Let's do some fishing then. <laughs> see what we can get, you know? Uh, but we can also trade. Let's see. Potatoes. Oh, you can go in there. So let's just do nine stacks. Thank you. Carrots. And then, of course, I can drop all this. Wheat. Obviously. Cool. All right. Let's see what we can get. I think... I mean, we're not going to get much, but I need emeralds. Let's see. Carrots. Oh. Ah, you buttholes. <laughs> Took all my dang... Carrots. Oh, yes. I also forgot beetroots and whatnot. I think I got some pumpkins in here. All right. There's some light trading there. You. Mr. Potato Man. Give me all that. And maybe we can check if there's a library. 
Thank you. And you. Ahaha. My potato guy. Would like a wheat guy. Do we have a wheat guy? No. Okay. Well, that stinks. There we go. Throw those back in there. Ah, gotta throw these in the top. Awesome. Uh, I hope we have... Let's check if we have... Might have a librarian. Alright, well, I actually went ahead and put another... Or, yeah, bought another bell that we can put around... I guess over here. Let's see. Yeah, I could do that. Just like... I think I need more. Come here. Wait, no, I don't need that. I need a block. <laughs> hey, long day already. There we go. And then I should be able to just. Yep. So I guess now, if any villagers come over here, they will have a little area to hang out and obviously i'll change that and work with this but actually i can go fix this up too there you are boop, boop, boop. awesome yeah yeah i'll dig this out off camera <laughs> i was like hey should i <laughs> All right, there's that. That still looks weird. Okay, we're gonna have to put like one more house right here. But now I've got a bell over here. So if any villagers wander uh, out here, should be good. Let's see, where are you gonna go? Because this is kind of important to me where he goes. You're a butcher, right? Uh. Well, you idiot. Oh, wait. You're not going to go in there? Uh. Ah. This is where you live. All right. Now is actually a good, tam uh, uh, a good time to do a little census. So let's see. We got one. You know, because they're all asleep. Or should be. So we got one. No one in here. Let's see, two. That's Greg. Greg, you should be at your house. Whatever. Two. Three. Is there anyone in here? Four. Greg. Huh. They're very interesting on how they work. I, I I don't understand villagers. So we're up to four. Should be one in here. Five. Okay. Yeah, max. And I think there should be two up in here. Six, seven, and I think that's it. So seven plus one is eight. We've got eight total. So let's go update the population sign. I hope I don't get befuddled by this skeleton. Actually, I can just do this. Oh, wait, signs are double-sided now? What? No way. That's crazy. Huh. I didn't know that. Okay, anyway. So, I guess this would be... Eight. There we go. Oh, yeah. 
I know it looks like there's a lot more people living here, but most of the buildings are just empty. <laughs> On the plus side, at least we have a lot of iron golems. I am curious to see what this guy does. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's coming down. Let's see, you should. Are you going to go to your butcher shop? Yeah. I just need them to recognize these buildings. And hopefully one recognizes here, but we'll have to see. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come here. Oh, maybe I can get him to lead if I do this. Sir. Hello. Um, excuse me. Can you, can you, what? Sir. Okay, I guess you can't push him up a carpet. Come on. Rude. <laughs> All right, well, we'll figure that out. Just put, nope. Put you right here. Guess eat a pumpkin pie, because that's all we can do. We're, yeah, the villagers, they'll, they'll sort themselves out. Eventually, we'll have one. Oh, creeper. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I was like, maybe that's a villager. All right, well, I guess uh, we'll have better luck next time. Wait, this one's actually working. What do you got? You got anything? Uh -huh. Frost rocker, that's not bad. But I think this is this is actually working. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, yes, get up here. No, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. You're uh -huh. not that guy. Thank you. I have to like avoid everything uh -huh. that could make him not a librarian. Come here. I think there's a skeleton on here somewhere. I think he's in the roof. Come on. No. Hey. Hey. Ah. Okay, whatever. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching today's episode of Back to Beta Days. I hope you enjoyed it. We got a lot done. We went ahead and built that... Uh, librarian's house so hopefully we'll get a librarian in it soon please remember to leave a like leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video let me know if there's any useful tips on getting these villagers fixed or something like that if you're new please subscribe and make videos every monday wednesday friday with streams and videos randomly strewn throughout the week until next time i'm beanin this has been back to beta days